Hi everyone, it's Kelly Klapstein, also known as Kelly Creates, here with you today. And we're gonna make this cute little cactus card using my new watercolor inks. I don't know if you've heard about my watercolor inks, but they come in these wonderful bottles with the eyedropper here on top. And there are three sets. There's a warm set, a cool set of five inks, and also an iridescent white and black set. We'll be using the white today. I'm also gonna be using the Kelly Crates palette. This palette comes with three pipettes. The pipettes look like this. And we're going to dilute our inks after we drop them into our palette by adding water, clean water with our pipette. I'm also, I also have the Kelly Crates watercolor lettering project pad. So this is wonderful watercolor lettering paper and it's watercolor paper that is a bright white and it's super smooth. So it's really nice for for lettering and um, painting fine, finely detailed images onto your uh, project. I'm also going to be using a brush. I will be using my, uh, two brushes. One is the Kelly Creates Water Brush. It has a super fine tip. And the other one is my wood brush. This comes in a set of four. They have, um, there are four sizes and the tips are wonderful for lettering and detailed painting. The other brush I will use is the Kelly Creates Black Ink Water Brush and we will be, these come pre-filled in a set of two and we'll be writing or painting wish you were here on our card. This cactus design is super easy. You are going to start with your four and a half by five inch piece of watercolor paper. Uh, you can make this bigger or smaller, it's totally up to you. And you're gonna take your pencil and we are going to draw this image uh, and sketch it onto onto our card and then we will use our watercolors to uh, paint it. If you look closely at this cactus, you'll see it's made up of stripes. I use two watercolor ink colors to make up the stripes in the cactus. I use the teal and the green or the emerald. What I'm going to do is um, add a couple of drops into my palette. You can see my palette already has paint in it. I do not clean my palette, it just stays like this. Um, permanently and then if I have to clean it out like if there's a hair or fuzzy I'll just use a little piece of paper towel and wipe it up. This way I really maximize on saving my inks and not wasting them, wasting any paint at all. Now at this point you are going to want to use your clean jar of water and your pipette which comes with the palette and add a couple of drops, as, much, as many as you like, but I want them fairly vibrant, so I'll only add a couple drops of water. You don't have to dilute these inks. You can actually just drop them right in and use them at full concentrate, but I think the, um, the pigments are so bright that it's a good idea to, to dilute them. Now to get these fine little stripes, I'm going to be using my size two Kelly Creates lettering brush. The first thing we're going to do is paint all the green stripes. So I'm gonna dip my brush into the water and pick up some, um, I'll pick up some green. And the other thing you should do with your watercolor paints when you first get them is swatch them out just so you know what colors you're working with. So I like the shade of green. I always have a scrap piece of watercolor paper to test out my colors as I'm going along. I'm going to do the first stripe going down the center of the cactus. So just with the tip of my brush, I'm just gonna go down and try to keep even pressure and make that first stripe. Now I'm going to leave a space for the next stripe um, and I'm gonna, I have my outline, so I'm gonna stick um, to that outline. And I'm gonna draw my next stripe, but I'm gonna leave space for a teal stripe. Okay. 
And honestly, it doesn't have to be super straight because um, once you are finished, nobody will notice if you're wiggly. Okay, next stripe. I'm going to do the same for the arms on the cactus. This is a Suaro cactus, by the way. Um, and I'm going to start in the center and bend now my stripe to end up right here on this edge. Every time I'm making a stripe, I'm dipping my brush, but my brush isn't super wet. going to let these green stripes dry completely before we go on to our teal. When you're ready for your teal, you're going to clean your brush completely in your water. And do the same process, except you're going to paint your stripes, your teal stripes in between the green stripes. Remember, these stripes need to be completely dry. Now we're going to wait for our stripes to completely dry and then we're going to paint the pot. You can paint the pot any color you like. I just chose pink, but you know, the sky's the limit. And you can also shade it any way you like. You can make it one dimensional or th more three dimensional. You can see I put a lighter color um, of the rose in the center of the pot to give it a bit more dimension. And also I made the center of this horizontal bar a lighter in the middle. Um, and I added some for dimension for the pot. I added this background here um, to go be indicate that the pot goes behind the cactus, but you don't need to do that. In fact, for this card, we're going to keep it super simple and just paint a pink pot. I have my palette and you can see that my rose ink is completely dry. So what I'll do is I'll just rehydrate it. I don't even have to add any more drops and I will just put some water in there and with my clean brush, I'm just going to mix this up uh, to get it moving. Now you might find a little bit of sediment, um, so you just want to avoid that. And then if you have too much of a buildup of old paint, you can just simply clean out the well with a wet paper towel or a rag. I also sometimes get hair or pieces of lint in my, um, in my wells. I'm going to take my scrap piece of paper just to see the color, test the color of this pink. It's quite nice. I think it's a little bit light, but we're just going to go with it. So I'm going to load up my brush and I'm just going to paint the, um, the pot and I'll start with this bar going across first. Now I'm going to paint the bottom of the pot and I'm going to leave a white line, uh, a very fine little white line separating the top part and the bottom part of the pot. And there we have our cute little pink pot. I like that little white line when you're painting one dimensional objects. I find with watercolor, it makes, uh, for this style, it makes it a really cool effect to leave that white line to um, create a little bit of interest in this, in this pot. Now I'm going to let this dry completely, then I'll erase my lines, and then we will pick up our black brush pen, our water brush pen, and we will paint Wish You Were Here. 
When you are lettering with this black ink water brush, I do want to tell you that when it comes new in the um, in the packaging, there will be a black ring right here separating the ink uh, from the barrel. And you are going to have to unscrew your water brush, remove the black ring and screw it back together. I'll just show you what that black ring looks like. Do you see here on this one? That's really important. Otherwise your ink will not flow out of this water brush. Now you can learn how to do brush lettering and paint pretty letters with my workbooks. Um, and there are three workbooks, and, but if you know anything about brush lettering, you will understand that you apply pressure for thick down strokes, and then you release pressure for thin up strokes. Uh, you can paint in any style you like, or if you're worried about painting a sentiment, you can simply stamp your sentiment. So let's, um, Let's get started and I will just paint this as you watch. And there you go. That is some cute little black brush lettering. The final little touch I added when my cactus was completely dry are these little white dots. You can use a white pen, but I use the Kelly Crates white ink, and this is a thicker ink than the regular watercolor inks. It's actually a gouache, um, so it's more opaque. And what I did is I basically just, you can use the tip of your brush uh, to do this, or you can also just use, um, I'm just open this up, the tip of my paintbrush. So I've got that white ink on the tip of my paintbrush and I can just uh, go along here and just add these little, little dots all over my cactus. And when my paint runs out, I can just go back, open up my ink, tap it onto that eyedropper or the lid and continue on with my little dots, which are supposed to be the little prickles on the cactus. There, that's the final step. So I hope you try out my new watercolor collection here at scrapbook.com and enjoy making some of these cactus cards for World Card Making Day. Thanks for watching.